So I just got back from Rio Baja, California, located in Los Cabos, Mexico. And let me tell you something, this resort really blew me away, but not in the way that you would expect. Is this resort really worth the price you pay? Because there are some comparable resorts right next door. Should you come here? Is this resort really for you? Finally, what really makes this resort truly unique? We're going to break down this resort pretty simply in four main categories. The first one is the resort as a whole, the beach and the pool, the food and the service. And then lastly, one of the biggest aspects of this resort, the activities and some extras. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a value score and let you know truly what I think this resort is worth based on the value that you pay. So let's get right into it, the resort. So the resort itself is located about an hour away from the airport and it's located in the heart of Los Cabos. And if you don't know, Los Cabos in Mexico is actually one of the biggest party areas you could go in Mexico next to Cancun. When we checked into the resort, we got met with a nice glass of mimosa. We had a pretty smooth processing into our rooms. Now the rooms, I break them down into four main categories. The first is the garden view which is the center of the actual resort. It's pretty, but doesn't really compare to the other options, which is what I would consider the party slash ocean view. This particular room has a view facing the next door resort as well as a partial ocean view to your right. The third type of room that you could get at this resort would be considered the ocean view. On the other side of the resort, it gives an amazing view of not only the ocean and the mountain across, but a huge empty area of nothingness. So, but the room itself is actually pretty nice in comparison to the other two. And the view is actually nicer, even though there is some wide open space that isn't really used for anything. And then the fourth option on this resort, part of the elite club, which is actually a full frontal ocean view. Now I spoke to somebody last time I was here and they loved the view they said it was absolutely beautiful and here's a little idea of what it would look like if you were staying at that type of room now I will go into the elite club later on don't worry but this view itself can make it worth it the room itself has a lovely bathtub it's actually pretty big for its size it's right in the middle of the room clean sheets comfy bed great sized balcony fridge stocked with options liquor right above coffee if you like and overall a very clean well-looking modern room. Room service was there every day. The resort itself is actually quite small in comparison to other resorts that I've been to. You have a pretty standard layout. You have the main lobby, which is clean, open feel. You have the garden area, which again, same idea, open view, clean. And then you walk straight, almost like a second lobby, which is right past the garden. This is where you'll find your coffee shop, your elite club bar. You'll find the main stage area where all the entertainment goes on at night, aside from the parties. You'll also find the spa in this area. And then when you walk right downstairs, you'll find the buffet area, all the other restaurants in a nice little U fashion. And then you walk straight out into the pool, the outdoor bars, the places that you really want to be on during this resort. The quality overall is very modern new. This is a new resort, relatively new. In comparison to the two other resorts, the Ryu properties next door, this is a massive difference. You can actually walk across to the other two Ryus if you like. I believe they are included with your stay as well, but I really don't find a reason to do so. I found this resort definitely to be the nicest of the three by far. Overall, I do think that the price that you pay for this place is worth the quality of the rooms, the resort as a whole. The resort is definitely nice. It's a high quality place. It's recently built. And in comparison to other options in the area, this is an upscale option that you definitely should look into if you have it within your budget. A little bit of a spoiler, but if you are looking just to go for the parties, I would highly recommend staying in Baja California if you can afford it, just because it's almost staying away from the parties while having easy access to the party. But if you are looking, for more mature feel, more of a quieter time, especially while the parties are going on next door, then definitely consider Rio Baja California as it is a much quieter resort in comparison to Rio Santa Fe, especially at nighttime. I noticed during the day is a much more relaxed, mature feel to Rio Baja California in comparison to Rio Santa Fe. It was almost like college dorm room feel at Rio Santa Fe versus at Rio Baja California. It was a little bit classier, a little bit more laid back, and I definitely noticed a lot more older generation at Rio Baja California in comparison to Rio Santa Fe. But I will say overall, this resort is quite quaint. It is smaller, it is nicer, but it is primarily a pool-oriented resort, meaning that this resort itself is really made for those type of people who just wanna lay back at the pool, enjoy some nice weather, and have a good time and eat good food. And with that, I'll transition straight into the second part, which is the beach and the pool. Now, I'm gonna tell you flat out, the beach is not worth it. Do not come here if you expect to have a good time at the beach. It is grainy, it is rocky, it is super shelly, it is sharp. The beach quality itself 
just isn't it for this resort. Playing volleyball, it was like needles on your feet. Walking just to go check out the ocean was almost an unbearable experience. And to add on top of that, the second that you walk down the steps, you're being haggled by locals to buy their merchandise. Would not even consider coming to the resort if you are a beach person. If you enjoy a tropical Caribbean beach, and that's purely why you're coming here. You're looking to check out Los Cabos in general, do not come here, just don't pass on it. But if you are somebody who are, is not really looking for the beach and you're more concerned about the pool, then give this place a try. The pools are huge. There's two main ones and then two smaller ones with the bars attached to them. And overall it is a great ambiance to lay back, relax, and have the option to either relax or be involved with the party aspect to this resort and get involved. You have the option for both. Right by the pool, there's Pepe's food, which is a great Mexican food option. You have fresh tacos being made, hamburgers, chicken burgers, hot dogs, you name it. There's plenty of options to choose from. And there's also an outside bar right outside of Pepe's food if you want to grab a drink with some seating options there if you were not interested in being in the pool to grab your drinks. There's also another option for the people in the elite club where they now have a sectioned off area with lounge chairs and their own private bar. The premium bar for the elite club I did check out, they do have premium liquor options, which is definitely nice if you appreciate that. Jumping back to the beach real quick, there is an area to lay out by the beach, but it is gated off. And the ocean itself is extremely strong. Do not go in the Los Cabos, Rio Baja, California ocean. It, the riptide is extremely strong. It'll pull you right in. It's a complete unpleasant experience to even be in front of as the waves are pretty strong. If you go early in the morning, you might be able to take a quick dip, but I do not recommend it. The waves can get really, really high. Here's a clip of all the way far back into the resort. You can see how massive these waves were. Something I loved about this resort too is the fact that everything was so close by. If you want to go by the pool, you could. If you want to grab some food to the buffet for lunch, you could. Or if you just wanted to hang out and lay out and take the sun, and grab something at Pepe's food, you could. One of the best aspects of this resort is the actual layout and how close everything is to the point where you could just jump around as you like. Now let's get into the third category, which is the food and the service. There are eight restaurants at this resort. And let me tell you something, in this case, less is more, more is not better. The quality just isn't there. It is a Ryu, so I wasn't expecting much. However, this is Ryu Baja California and it is a premium level resort in comparison. So I did expect a little bit, which in some places I did. Now the eight restaurants are the buffet, which is open breakfast, lunch, and dinner, the Mexican, the Japanese, which was a joke, the Italian, Crystal, which is a gourmet restaurant, the steakhouse, Pepe's poolside, and then finally the elite club restaurant. So I'm just gonna call it as it is. Don't go to the Japanese, don't go to the Italian, and if you wanna switch things up, go to the Mexican or Crystal. The buffet is where it really stood out for this resort. Breakfast at this buffet was an extremely pleasant experience from the service to the quick seating, even when it was crowded, and the plentiful options that you could choose from that were really delicious. Juices, meats, authentic Mexican quality foods, you name it, they had it. It really was a pleasurable experience. And even the donuts were actually good, which normally at all inclusive, they are pretty terrible. Now the Mexican, I did expect more for a Mexican based resort. It was pretty lackluster. The service again was amazing. And they did have some specialty things like on tap margaritas and tequila shots, but I'll be honest, the food just really didn't do it for me. I feel like for a Mexican restaurant and a Mexican resort, there really should have been more options to choose from. Japanese, I went to the last time I was here and it was honestly a pitiful experience. <laughs> do not even bother looking at this place. It is pretty God awful. And I love Asian food but this was horrendous. Italian, I'm Italian, I'm from New York. This was also not worth looking at. Take a look if you like, if you do enjoy trying things out, give it a shot, why not? But don't have high expectations. Crystal, the gourmet option at this resort, give it a shot. I do think that is actually pretty good. I was there last time I was at this resort. I decided to opt out this time around, but it is worth a shot. If you wanna mix things up, go there. It was above quality service. They did go out of their way to try and make sure that you are having a gourmet experience. But and then finally, the steak house which is what i opted for with me and my group we went there every night except for maybe one where we checked out the new mexican restaurant and this was really the pinnacle of quality steaks were just as good every time as i went and to be honest on this trip especially after being here before i really just knew that simple is better i knew that if you like something stick with it at this resort and don't really bother wasting your nights trying things that you knew were not up to par that you would like and overall i have nothing negative to say about the steakhouse whatsoever there was also the elite club restaurant which i did not actually attend because i was not an elite club member also room service very inconsistent we called maybe four times and they only showed up two out of the four times and even then it didn't look too great so 
Overall, the service was actually pretty amazing. They really did go out of their way to make sure that you were having a good time, that the food was okay for you. We're just overall pleasant people having a pleasant experience and letting you know that we wanna make sure that you're having a pleasant experience as well. Let's go to the fourth section of this review, which are the activities and the extras. Now, I would make a trip out here just for the review parties alone, forgetting about all the other aspects of this resort. Review parties alone are a reason to come to this resort. They really are Vegas level pool party quality, and I mean that with every bone in my body. Once you experience a Ryu party, you do not want to experience anything else but a Ryu party. The activity staff in general, again, will go out of your way to make sure you're having a good time. Now there are four Ryu parties. There's the jungle, which is on Tuesdays. That's a day party. That starts around 2.30, ends at 7. We have the white night party, which is on a Wednesday. That's at 6.30, ends at 11. The pink party, which is on your Fridays, which is a day party. And then finally, the neon party, which is Saturday night, and Thursdays being absolutely nothing. You might be wondering what the main difference is between the four, aside from the themes. Two of them are day, two of them are night. You could definitely expect the neon night party to be way more of a club feel, more of that house music, deep bass bumping. The white night is more that feel good house feel, feel good house music. And then the jungle and the pink party is kind of like your daytime, feel good, let's have a great time type of pool party. Drinks, very easy to get. And something I loved about these pool parties is the fact that there's actually food right there for you to grab if you are starting to get a little hungry. Now you're probably thinking this is a young college type of event, but in reality, these pool parties are for all ages. So do not be afraid to go there if you are a little bit on the older generation, say in your 30s, 40s, 50s, whatever. Go there, have a great time. There was actually plenty of people in their 40s and 50s dancing, hanging out with the other crowds. Now, yes, I did go during spring break. So what you're noticing is there are definitely a lot more young people, but do not let that deter you from having a good time. In order to get to these parties, it's a quick walk right outside the lobby. You should make a turn to the right. You walk about five minutes, you follow the signs, and you're right there in the heart of the center of Rio Santa Fe. Aside from the amazing Rio pool parties, you do have some other options for activity. You have the staff at the pool during the day, but you also have shows which are in the lobby and this place was actually packed out at night you could actually have a great time just sitting there relaxing pre-gaming or just enjoying a late night drink while things like a mexican theme party goes on or karaoke there's a bar right by the theater so you grab a drink you sit down you hang out there are actually two bars right by the theater. You can just go up, grab a drink, enjoy the show. I did actually watch all the shows last time I was at this resort, and they were pretty good. Just a quick note, it is a very windy resort. This is the desert, so it does get pretty chilly at night, so make sure you bring a hoodie or a jacket. The Elite Club. Now, I did notice it was about $1,000 more if I were to go during the same time of the year for that upgraded room. Now, the question is, would that $1,000 make that big of a difference in my overall experience of the resort? And is that $1,000 worth the premium level of the Elite Club? If you enjoy a great view, the room alone is worth the price of that $1,000 extra. If you usually upgrade to the premium level rooms, go for it. Premium level drinks, go for it. This is a new aspect to the Rio Baja California. You had an elite club bar, an elite club restaurant, an elite club sectioned off area by the pool, and you had elite views. I would say Rio Elite Club did seem for the price to be more worth it than other resorts that I've stayed. We really don't get much. So who is this resort for? Everybody, and I mean that. If you have it in your budget to stay at more of a premium level resort, stay at this resort to get away from the party aspect of the nonstop college type party energy. If you want to stay away from the kids, if you enjoy just overall just a better quality resort, but you still want to have a good time, this resort's for you. Why would you come here? Should you come here? Come here if you're looking for great weather, pretty good food, but overall, the most important aspect of this resort that you can't escape from is just the good energy. You're looking for good vibes, having a good time. And even if you don't necessarily want to party, there's an upbeat level energy to this resort, regardless of if you party or not. I would not recommend staying at Ryu Santa Fe next door if you have it in your budget to spend a little bit more money for a more quieter, mature feel. And then if you want to party at nighttime, just go right next door. You have available access to that. Want to really make this very well known that whether you are in your 20s, your 30s, or your 50s and 60s, you can still have a quality time at the resort. However, just make sure that if you come here, you are ready for that Los Cabos high energy environment with the option to lay back and relax at your own leisure. You're kind of looking for an upper scale party environment without the sloppiness or the messiness, just a cleaner level experience. And is it worth the price? I would say yes, it is worth the price. Now I didn't notice from last year into this year, it did get a little bit more expensive. I'm hoping that they don't keep raising the price, but for where it currently stands for what I paid for this resort, I'm looking at five nights from New York with flight about 17 to 1800, which honestly isn't too bad considering the quality of the resort. 
And lastly, finally, the value score. Let's break down what I think about this resort on a one to 10 scale and would I recommend it based on the value that I paid and the overall experience that I had at this resort. The first, the resort as a whole. This is a pretty clean resort. It is high quality. It is well laid out. The only downside is it is quite small. Overall, this was a great resort. I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. Second, the beach and the pool. I'm gonna break these two scores down separately. The beach, it's not surprising, a two out of 10. Only reason why it gets a two is because it does have some chairs laid out and it does have volleyball as an option if you choose to, which again, I wouldn't recommend. Now, the only good thing about this beach is the view, which I incorporate into the scoring of the resort. Now, the pool for grade number three is going to be an 8.5 out of 10. The only reason why I do wish it was a little bit better, just the layout of the pool in general, I feel like could have been better. Fourth, the food. Now, again, it is Ryu food. It is not that great, but it also wasn't terrible. And again, this is only based on the fact that I've been here twice and I know what I'm getting into. I'm going to give this overall a 6.5 out of 10. Purely based on the steakhouse and the buffet alone, this would be bumped into the eighth. And because this is an overview, I really have to keep that low because the food, you're really not expecting much aside from your couple star aspects. The service out of 10, a nine, easily a nine. We did have one little mishap, but we brushed it over. The front desk went out of their way to give us a good time. The party staff goes out of their way to give us a good time. The bartenders are pleasant and fun. The restaurant service are great and entertaining. Overall, the service really was a high aspect of this resort. Activities. This is Ryu. This is easily a 9.5 out of 10. The only reason why it's not a perfect 10 is because you never know what's out there. 9.5 out of 10, you really can't get better than this. The parties are Vegas level. The DJs were fantastic. The staff for the activities were friendly. I do wish that the actual activities aside from the parties were a little bit better, but again, you're coming to Rio, Baja California for those parties. You're coming to Los Cabos to party, have a good time. You're not really necessarily coming here for fantastic shows. They were good, but that's a scoring for Rio, Baja California. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing, liking the video if you could. And please comment down below any questions you have whatsoever about the resort. I will answer you as soon as possible. Thank you guys. Peace.